ever wondered about the tantalizing dishes that are prepared during the holy month of Ramadan? Well, let's embark on this gastronomic voyage together. Ramadan, the ninth month in the Islamic lunar calendar, is a time of reflection, prayer, and community. It's a time when millions of Muslims around the globe fast from dawn till dusk. But when the sun sets, the feast begins. You see, the essence of food during Ramadan goes beyond mere sustenance. It's about unity, togetherness, and a shared sense of gratitude. Picture this. As the sun dips below the horizon, families and communities congregate for iftar, the meal that breaks the fast. The spread is a sight to behold, a symphony of flavors, textures, and aromas. It's a moment of joy, a time to give thanks, and an opportunity to share a meal with loved ones. As the night progresses, suhoor, the pre-dawn meal, is prepared. This meal is equally important, as it's designed to sustain individuals throughout the day. It's typically wholesome and balanced, providing the necessary energy to navigate the fasting hours. Finally, at the end of Ramadan, there's a grand feast known as Eid al-Fitr. This celebration marks the end of the fasting period, and the food is nothing short of spectacular. It's a time of merriment, a time to indulge, and a time to celebrate the completion of a month of devotion and self-discipline. Throughout this video, we'll explore these three main meals in more detail. We'll delve into the ingredients, traditions, and the stories behind the dishes. We'll learn about the culinary traditions that have been passed down through generations and how they've evolved over time. We'll see how food in all its glorious forms becomes a unifying force during the holy month of Ramadan. So whether you're a food lover keen to learn about different culinary traditions or someone observing Ramadan, this journey promises to be a delicious one. Stay tuned as we delve into the delicious delicacies that make Ramadan a mouth-watering culinary experience. Iftar, the meal that breaks the day's fast, is a time of joy and celebration. This meal signifies not just the end of a day's sacrifice, but also the beginning of an evening filled with warmth, camaraderie, and delicious food. At the heart of the iftar meal are simple yet profound elements. The fast is traditionally broken with dates and water, just as the Prophet Muhammad is said to have done centuries ago. Dates are not only sweet and satisfying, but they're also packed with essential nutrients like fiber, potassium, and magnesium, making them a perfect energy booster after a day of fasting. Following the dates and water, a nourishing soup often takes center stage. Among the many varieties enjoyed around the world, lentil soup is a timeless favorite. Its preparation starts with sorting through the lentils, discarding any impurities. The lentils are then soaked for a few hours before being boiled until tender. To this, a medley of aromatic spices, think cumin, turmeric, and a hint of chili are added. Some even toss in diced vegetables or bits of meat for added texture and flavor. The resulting soup is a comforting, hearty dish, the kind that fills your stomach and soothes your soul. But it's not just about the taste or the warmth it brings. Lentil soup is a nutritional powerhouse packed with protein and fiber, making it an ideal choice after a day of fasting. It replenishes the body with essential nutrients and prepares it for the following day's fast. But iftar is not just about breaking the fast, it's also a time for families to come together, to share stories of the day and enjoy a meal together. It's a time for gratitude, for reflection, and for cherishing the blessings that come with the holy month of Ramadan. The warm and savory taste of lentil soup is just the beginning of a delightful iftar experience. The breaking of the fast is, after all, a celebration of resilience, a testament to faith, and a reminder of the joy that comes from simple, shared pleasures. Suhoor, the pre-dawn meal, is crucial for providing energy for the day's fast. This meal is typically consumed in the early morning hours before Fajr, the first prayer of the day. It's a time of quiet reflection and nourishment, setting the tone for the day of fasting ahead. While a late-night snack may seem tempting, suhoor is not merely about filling the stomach. It's about choosing foods that will sustain energy levels, keep you hydrated, and help maintain focus throughout the day. The types of foods traditionally consumed during suhoor are whole grains, fruits, and proteins. Whole grains are a fantastic source of energy. They slowly release energy throughout the day, helping to keep you feeling fuller for longer. Oats, brown rice, and whole grain bread are popular choices. Fruits, on the other hand, are the body's natural sugar source. They are packed with essential vitamins and minerals and offer hydration due to their high water content. Dates, bananas, and oranges are often found on the suhoor table, providing a sweet start to the day. Proteins are equally important. They are the building blocks of the body and help repair and build tissues. 
eggs, yogurt, cottage cheese, and legumes are common sources of protein consumed during suhoor. Now, let's walk through the preparation of a simple and nutritious suhoor dish. Imagine a bowl of warm oatmeal topped with a variety of fruits and a sprinkle of nuts. Begin by cooking the oats in milk or water, allowing them to simmer until they reach a creamy consistency. While the oats are cooking, chop up your favorite fruits. Once the oatmeal is ready, top it with the fresh fruits, a drizzle of honey for sweetness, and a handful of nuts for a crunch. This dish is not only delicious but also highly nutritious, providing a balance of carbohydrates, proteins, and vitamins. Remember, the key to a good suhoor is balance. It's important to include a variety of food groups to ensure you're getting all the nutrients you need. A wholesome suhoor meal ensures a comfortable and energized fast throughout the day. Eid al-Fitr marks the end of Ramadan and is celebrated with a grand feast. The air is filled with a sense of joy and excitement. Homes are filled with the aroma of mouth-watering dishes, and the atmosphere is alive with the spirit of togetherness and gratitude. This is the day of Eid al-Fitr, a day of celebration, a day when fasting gives way to feasting. One can't talk about the Eid feast without mentioning the star of the show, Biryani. This dish, with its layers of fragrant rice and succulent meat, is a favorite in many households. The preparation of biryani is an art in itself. It begins with the selection of quality basmati rice, which is then soaked for a couple of hours. Meanwhile, meat, usually mutton or chicken, is marinated with a blend of spices. The next step involves frying sliced onions until they are golden brown, adding a delightful sweetness to the dish. The marinated meat is then cooked until it is tender and the spices are well absorbed. The rice is partially cooked in another pot and then the layering begins. A layer of rice is spread at the bottom of a heavy bottomed pot, followed by a layer of the cooked meat. This process is repeated until all the ingredients are used, with the topmost layer being rice. A sprinkle of saffron-infused milk is added for color and aroma, and the pot is sealed tightly. The biryani is then cooked on a low flame, allowing the flavors to mingle and create a dish that is truly a feast for the senses. But the feast doesn't end with biryani. Plates are laden with succulent kebabs, tangy pickles, and refreshing salads. And of course, no feast is complete without sweets. From creamy sheer kurma to rich baklava, the array of desserts adds a sweet ending to the meal. The aromatic and flavorful biryani is a perfect end to the holy month of Ramadan. The feast of Eid al-Fitr is not just about the food, it's about the spirit of sharing and celebrating together. It's a reflection of the richness and diversity of the Islamic culture, and a testament to the joyous culmination of a month of fasting and prayer. Ramadan is not just a time of spiritual growth, but also a culinary journey. It's the time when the faithful embark on a spiritual sojourn, while also immersing themselves in a vast array of gastronomical delights. Let's take a moment to reflect on the food journey we've just explored. Our first stop was iftar, the moment of breaking the fast. We talked about how this meal, often shared with family and friends, is more than just an act of sustenance. It's a moment of gratitude, a time of unity, and a celebration of the day's successful fasting. The foods served at iftar are a delightful mix of sweet and savory, from the refreshing dates and water to the hearty soups and mains, each contributing to replenishing the body's energy levels after a day of fasting. Next, we ventured into the night with suhoor, the pre-dawn meal. This meal is significant as it's the last meal before the day's fast begins. We discussed how suhoor needs to be both nourishing and hydrating to sustain one through the day. The foods typically consumed at this meal, like complex carbohydrates, proteins, and hydrating fruits, are all designed to provide slow-releasing energy throughout the day. Finally, we ended our journey with the Grand Eid al-Fitr feast, marking the end of Ramadan. This celebration meal is a testament to the joy of completing a month of fasting and spiritual reflection. It's a time of communal rejoicing where an array of scrumptious dishes is prepared and shared, symbolizing unity and gratitude. Throughout this culinary journey, the importance of these meals goes beyond just maintaining energy levels. They are a testament to the spirit of Ramadan, bringing communities together, fostering a sense of belonging, and emphasizing the joy of sharing and caring. As we conclude, remember that the essence of Ramadan lies not just in fasting but in the joy of sharing, caring, and preparing delicious meals together.